so welcome back today I'm going to show you how to add a death screen which which will have a respawn feature um, I'll show you how to add a camera shake and a red screen flash to indicate that the character has been damaged so at the end of the tutorial you'll have something that looks like this so you see the camera shake and the red screen flash once you die you have a respawn screen so carrying from where we left off last time we're going to start by creating a camera shake first of all so you go pick a blueprint and you go down to all classes and type in camera shake but use this one at the bottom select name this damage camera shake open it up and on class defaults on the right hand side we'll see all this and we're going to just enter some um, values here. So the oscillation duration, we can set that to 0 0.25. We can keep these two the same. Uh, we'll change the pitch to 5 and 50. We'll do that same for the roar as well. 5, 50. And we can leave the roll out. And if we just expand that on the X, we will do we'll do a hundred one and then we'll change a little offset to zero and then finally for Z we'll do 10 and 50 and that's all we need for that compile save close next step we're going to create a we're going to create the red screen flash so we can call it red screen splash damage and go into that and we're just going to want to drag an image anchor this to the whole page if you just do this reset all these features you'll get should get a whole page sorry zero here zero there we'll then change the color to red and put the alpha down to just for the precise but 0 0.5 halfway and once we've done that, we need to then create an animation. We can just call this um, flash. And then we track that to the image. We're going to track the color and opacity. So we've got the one frame there. So if we just move this up to 0 0.3, what we're then going to want to do is put that straight down to 0 and then add a keyframe. So that would be the flash. We press play. Left clean off game. Does not. Okay, don't press play. Just save that. Cross it off. And then we can now add this to our damage taker that we created last time. I did not click that. Or maybe it did. Right, let's go into the damage taker. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to. After we've done the. After set full health, you want to drag this out and write play uh, camera shape, play world camera shape. Select the damage camera shape that we just created and we're going to hook the epicenter to get actor location. Let's move this back a bit so it's not just up there. Move that back down there. Move it up a bit. We can yeah, we'll drag that down here. Looking a bit messy, but it's all right. And then um, from here, we're going to want to create widget. Select the widget that we just did, which was red screen splash damage. Then we add that to the view fork. Hook that up. Just make sure everything's hooked up. And it should be and let's make a compile save cross it off and let's test it out so walk into the fire it's gonna take a while because it's the same as code last as last time but oh wait it's not doing it is it let me check what's going wrong ah that's what i forgot to do outer radius put that to 500 and we're going to want to go back into here go to the graph and then on event construct 
we're going to want to play animations drag out the flash animation that we just made plug that in compile then we're going to want to get event on animation finished animation we're going to get the flash just drag that in there Yeah, and then we're going to get equals equals. Drag that there. Then we're going to get a branch and the condition, hook that up. And if true, remove from parent. Save, compile, and then let's test that. Now if we play, alright, it's going haywire due to the fact our values for the damage is very low. We can change that. Let's put it something a bit more manageable. So let's just do minus five each time. So ten. Because I'm going to show you. Let's just do twenty-five because I'm going to show you death screen soon. We don't want to be waiting around for too long. We'll do delay to one second each time, so you can see it a lot better. So now every second the screen will flash, the camera will shake. The character will die. Now we will move on to our death screen. So first things first, I'm just gonna I just went on Google, uh, wrote skull background, found this picture, save as, save it wherever you want to. Skull image. Save it. I've previously done it so you can see it's there already. Find the folder where you saved it. Not all of that. Drag that in. Cross that off. And then we're going to create a widget blueprint. We're going to call this Death Screen. Open it up. Uh, first things first, we'll drag the image in there. You can use the image, you can use Color. I'm just showing you how to do to use image. So it's called Skull Death. I named it, and then I'm gonna anchor it to the whole page. Reset, reset the values zero zero. A bit stretched. It's not too bad. Compile that. And then we're gonna wanna we just drag some text in. Simple bit of text. Just anchor that to the middle, to the top. Sorry. And then let's just write on it. You are dead. Change the font to whatever you want. Just like that for now. Okay, so it's not letting you. It's a bit hard sometimes when you haven't got. Yep, that's. Alright, oh, it's there. That's better. There. Compile that. Then we're gonna wanna get put a button here or wherever you feel is right to have a button. Anchor it to the bottom of the page. Make it a little bigger. A little wider. Throw a bit of text in there. I'm just gonna write a respawn. Should change the color so you can see it. Put it in red. Put it black actually. Compile, save. So we'll just rename these. Respawn. Respawn button. Compile, save. And we go to the graph. And then click on the respawn button. And then put the event on clicked. And when on clicked, we're going to want to execute a command. And that's going to be. Restart level. If you have a specific point in the game, you can also, in effect, teleport player to wherever you want him to go. And then once we've done that, we're going to want to go into our third person character and create a function. We'll just call it death. And what we're going to do is we're going to disable input because we don't want the, con uh, the player to keep running around or. You don't want to be able to jump or anything. Get player controller. 
and this is where you would add any sounds or any animations that you have so I'm just going to add a sound play sound play sound on location I'm not going to blow your ears off so I'm just going to do the birds after that we're going to create widget add to viewport select our dev screen then we just want to cast to play controller and because we need to use the mouse cursor in the respawn menu we're going to show mouse cursor and click that one we can cast this no, get play controller so it doesn't do all the messages there'll be a note but it doesn't really matter and I think that will do just show it a little bit we hooked up to the end now in our damage taker instead of this we're gonna get death before that we'll just cast a third person character for overview Just so we can get it straight from here. Death. Get play character. And compile and see. And let's see how that goes. So, walk into trigger box. Last one. And the bird part, you hear the bird. And the bird screen. Click the screen. And we're back to where we are. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover today. And thank you for watching.